Right. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, and you guys again with another Ghostbusters toy review. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing a couple things, like the Ghostbusters, and this falls under the Ecto Minis. Um, Stay Puff Balloon uh, Ghost, which on the back you can see the new Ghostbusters Minis fighting the Balloon Stay Puff. Um, Maybe this means that we'll see him again in the new movie as a balloon. Uh, not sure. Um, then, you know, you can get the Rowan figure, and uh, I forgot this guy's name, but um, those fall under the Ecto Minis, too. And you'll see that uh, it's light up red. You probably can't see that in the video, but you guys all know what the color red looks like. It's on my shirt, it's on him, <laughs> you know. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up, and thankfully, these packages are very easy to open. Just plastic, and here it is. It's got, well, it's pretty light. I'd say it's about mm, five, six inches tall. It's got articulated head, articulated arms articulated hands and articulated feet and you can see the battery cover um, obviously uh, you know there's no real good place to hide that so that's something that you're just gonna have to live with and you can see the nice detailing on his hat and his mouth his face uh, his expression and you'll notice it has wrinkles on uh, some edges of them implying or suggesting the balloon, I guess. And I'll compare it to the Ecto Minis. So here is uh, Melissa McCarthy standing next to him. Now uh, she is kneeling down, but you guys get the idea. Obviously, he isn't um, sizable to the uh, Ecto one, but. You know, that'd be blown way out of proportion. So I'm just going to set those over here. Now I'm going to go over the Ghostbusters uh, slime uh, kits now. Um, these slime uh, figures come with the uh, tub of slime and instructions. Probably will tell you whether or not it's toxic or not. Probably isn't. Um, I know for parents, that's going to be a big issue. Um, just the cap. And I'm going to slide this off here. Oh, there goes the figure. Alright, so it comes with the uh, cap and the lid. You can put the ghost in. Now the pink slime is a female slimer or could be potentially a different ghost in general. You can see by uh, the purple boner hair and the purple eyes and the ponytail. And on the lid there it uh, uh, has a ponytail. And it's got articulated arms. So for now we'll just set her in the little container like so. Now to get to the stuff that uh, you guys have been waiting for, waiting to see. So this comes undone and um, I'll show you what this does in a little bit. Alright, so I'm about to open up the slime here and it's got this airtight package on it which doesn't seem to want to come off. Probably, uh, oh, look at that. Probably for the better for little kids. Um, I haven't read the instructions yet, but I'm obviously going on the assumption that's non-toxic. Uh, well, you can definitely see it's really stringy. Alright. And it's just like any other slime that you would see. Um, so I'm going to show you what this part is for. So you stick this on there like so. And then you stick the ghost, which 
Yeah, I think I'm doing this right. Oh, wait. Maybe not. Alright, so I'm just going to stick the ghost in there. And... Right. So... And now, once I tip this over, the slime will pour onto the ghost. And you can see it just slowly inching its way down onto the ghost. And it just leaks through. Um, I do not know yet if these will stain clothes, so uh, if you're a parent, that's probably going to be an issue. <laughs> And I suppose I'll go over this one. It's uh, just as simple as the other one. Except this one will come with a slimed Peter Bankman. And it is classified as the classic series. As you can see on the package there. Oh man, this package just doesn't want to come off. Right. Let's get some of this garbage out of the way. Now, I remember from the old uh, Ghostbusters slime kits that you would get in the Kenner toys. Uh, it would eventually stain the plastic of the action figures. I don't know if we'll do that with these. Um, here's the highly detailed slimed Peter Venkman. And now I'm going to open up this one and do the exact same thing that I did with the other one. Oh, package one to do the same thing too. can see uh, how uh, sludgy it really is. Um, I would wait to see if it's uh, stain or if it would stain because obviously some of you guys are probably thinking what I'm thinking and gonna buy a jumpsuit and buy a couple of these or maybe even if they later on come out with just tubs that you can buy these in and um, pour that onto the uh, jumpsuit and pretty soon, Peter Rankin will be slimed. Uh, same kind of feature like with the old Kenner Firehouse. And you just pour the slime down the uh, roof and it just leak down onto the figures. So you got those. I'm going to go over the instructions. Um, obviously, your parents are probably going to want to know whether or not it's toxic all right and hmm um all right well don't see anything yet, but I'll keep on looking here. Hmm. So it's uh, rated for ages 4 and up, but um, maybe not, like again, I don't see anything on here that says whether they're uh, toxic or not. Hmm. Oh, okay, so it says here, this product may stain or stick to some surfaces, protect play area before use, avoid contact with carpet, clothing, walls, and furniture. So pretty much all the things kids like to play on. Um, yeah, it's so weird that I don't see anything on here that says, uh, 
whether it's toxic or not. So, um, it probably isn't, but um, just to be safe and sorry, don't eat it. That's kind of an obvious. Um, and uh, so that's the Ghostbusters slime kits. And now they also come out or have come out with these Ghostbusters logo stickers, which are really cool. Don't know if they're going to come out with any more. Um, these are about 97 cents to a dollar, two dollars. Uh, it varies on the location. Um, like these were two ten dollars each. Uh, the Stay Puff was ten. Um, but that might be different in your location. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this review. Uh, like, comment, subscribe for more videos, and uh, have a nice day.